out here in the perennial garden today and around this time of year you'll start to notice you'll need to do a little bit of maintenance and that would include some deadheading. So over here we have some irises and we're just going to go right down to the bottom, take a snip and cut these off and this one as well and that'll clean them up nicely. Also this time of year, especially after heavy rainfalls, the peonies are usually a mess so we'll have to deadhead them as well and we do that by just snipping as far in as possible and cleaning them up like that. While we are at the peonies, you can tell that there's also a grow ring under here to help support them while it is raining. So in order to keep your perennial gardens looking really sharp throughout the summer months, you want to make sure that you incorporate a bunch of drought tolerant plants. A few examples of those would be your yarrow, which comes in different colors as well as different heights. Your sedums, this happens to be a variegated one, it also comes in purple and green, different colors, flowers as well. And your coreopsis, which also comes different heights and a few different colors. These are drought tolerant plants, however, that doesn't mean that you can just plop them in the garden and forget about them. They do have to be watered until they're well established and after that they require very little care besides deadheading and just your regular maintenance. And once all the work in the garden's done, sit back, grab a refreshment and enjoy yourself. Yeah.